Hey guys, so I saw this and today it's official. HTC, and I know it's a mess in the background where I'm at at the moment. Uh, I'm doing a lot of shit right now. So, HTC's uh, flagship device for 2013 is now here. So, interesting. What is the name of the device? Well, it's gonna be HTC One. Uh, the flagship device for last year was, was the HTC One X. So I, I, it feels like they're going a little backwards. Yeah, I know it's weird, but it's called HTC One. It's gonna have a 4.7 inch screen uh, with, it's gonna be a super LCD 3 display. Uh, so it seems to be some kind of new display technology over there. 1080p, so 469 pixels per inch. Interesting here that they're not go going up in screen size, same as last year. Um, I'm not quite sure if I like that. I always like bigger. And, uh, you know, Samsung with their Galaxy lineup every year, they've always been increasing in size. And it seems like the Galaxy S4 is going to be even bigger than the Galaxy S3. So I like that because they see that people buy bigger stuff. Uh, but the HTC here is keeping with their 4.7 inch screen or yeah, and then it, something interesting with this device is that it, it is using the it's the first phone kind of using uh, the Qualcomm Snapdragon uh, 600 chipset and it's the same as LG's new flagship device that's probably going to be the LG Optimus G Pro. Uh, so it's quad core clocked at 1.7 gigahertz, a Crate 300 processor, Adreno 320 graphics, so it should be amazing. Uh, two gigabytes for RAM as well. Um, and then also it's interesting because it seems to be a, uh, a some new kind of sensor. Uh, it has some kind of 4 megapixel sensor, 1080p at 30 frames per second. Uh, okay, I'm not sure if it's only a 4 megapixel camera or if it has an 8 megapixel camera or a 30 megapixel camera, but it seems like you can do some 30 FPS video recording with HDR mode. Uh, and then it has a kind of sensor that uh, the HTC is calling ultra pixels. Um, so the camera should be improved, uh, 32 gigabyte and 64 gigabyte um, um, version variants. Doesn't seem like you will have that SD card option, but it seems like they removed 16 gigabyte variant. Uh, Bluetooth 4, GPS, uh, LTE variant, uh, NFC, Wi-Fi, and all those things. And it's gonna come with laser from Android right now, 4.1.2, or actually it's not the latest, but uh, it's what Samsung's Galaxy lineup uh, and most uh, high-end smartphones is using right now. And the 4.2.2 update that's out right now for the Nexus device, I already made a video about that. It seems like they're working on an update for that. Um, it's not as, th it's not uh, one of the thinnest devices, I can see 9.3 millimeters, kind of thick. Uh, it has stereo speakers, 2,300 milliamps. It doesn't seem to be a revolutionary higher battery. It's only a 200 more milliamps than the Galaxy S3. And I'm pretty sure that Samsung with the Galaxy S4 will pump in much more milliamps, at least 2,500 milliamps. It really feels like they will do that. Uh, so the pictures, uh, it kind of reminds uh, about an iPhone. I kind of like this design more than last year's, uh, last year's devices. Uh, because this one seems to be kind of, <laughs> it really looks like an iPhone 5 design uh, up there in the top and how it's run it off. The design seems to be better uh, than the HTC One X because it seems like it will be easier to grab the buttons. Hopefully most buttons, uh, hopefully don't, don't have the power on button at the top. Uh, but uh, we'll see. But it kind of looks good, capacity touch buttons. The white one looks actually very, very sexy here. But it looks extremely much like an iPhone 5 design, uh, especially here with the size and the curves. Wow. Uh, good thing Steve Jobs is, um, oh, well, that he is not here anymore. I mean, of course, that's bad, but he would sue the, uh, these asses. I kind of like with, that the stereo speakers is at the front. That's extremely good, actually. That's that's kind of dope. It's actually good on. Uh, it's also good on the iPhone that it's on the on the side on the. Um, it's not on the back, but it's uh, on one of those sides. Uh, there at the bottom. That's also good because if you have it on the table, you can still hear the sound good. Uh, that's the problem with some of Samsung's devices that they have the stereo at the or, or on the back. Uh, but I like this. I like this. I like this. Um, We'll see when it's gonna be a web or I mean, it's gonna come like in March. So, are you gonna pick this up? Well, I gotta say, wait for me to review it, or at least check it out. Maybe I hate it. I do real reviews, I do hardcore reviews, I do badass reviews, yes, yes. No, but um, I will compare this phone, pro I will probably buy this phone. Uh, will I buy Sony's high-end phone, Xperia C? Good, f good question. <laughs>
I, w- I will probably, uh, but that means I will have to do some hardcore work for a lot of months here because then I will also do Galaxy's 4 videos. So it's going to be intense, going to be intense few months here because it's a lot of high-end phones coming and it is a lot of things going on right now, but I like that. I like having a lot of things to do all the time, 24-7. Uh, but I like this. I, I like the design a lot. Uh, I can't wait to get my hands on this device. I want to have it. I want to touch it. I want to feel it. I want to try the camera. To try the the processor and see what you can do with it. So um, I like it a lot. Yeah, have a good day. <laughs>